Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this motion problem, they want us to go from this velocity versus time graph and to make a position versus time graph. And then they ask us what's the position at the time of 12 seconds, and then they want us to come up with some kind of a description to explain the situation. So first off, we're going to be finding the area under the curve to find the position. So at two seconds, we have two moving at a negative three meters per second. So two by three, that area is a negative six. So at two seconds right here, we'll be down to negative six. Then at four seconds, it's the same thing. We have another negative six. So at four, it'll be all the way down to negative 12. And then at four seconds to six seconds, we're going now a positive three meters per second. And it's also two, so it's a positive six now. So we'll come back up here six and six meters and then they slow down a little bit whatever we decide is happening here to a one meter per second for the rest of the time so from six to eight we have a one by two so that's a positive two so we'll come from a negative six to negative four at eight and then at ten we have another positive two so two at ten and then 12, it's zero. Okay, so we can connect all these just to better see what's happening with the motion. So here is the position versus time graph from the velocity versus time graph. For part B, they say, what is the object's position at t equals 12 seconds? Well, we just found it from graphing our position versus time graph. At 12 seconds, it's at zero meters. A second way to do that is you can add up all the area under the negative curve and all the area under the positive curve. And here we have three by four, so that's 12 seconds underneath. And we have six seconds right here. And then this was two for each, so two, four, six. So we have 12 on top and 12 on the bottom. And of course, 12 meters minus 12 meters is zero meters. So that's a second way to find the answer. Now for part C, they want us to come up with some sort of explanation of what's going on. So what I would say is, well, maybe there is a athlete doing a drill, a conditioning drill, and they run backwards to touch this cone. When I say backwards, I mean the negative X direction. So they're sprinting to touch a cone and then they run back almost to where they start, but not totally. And then they slow down and they keep running at a slower speed until they come back to where they start. So I'll just put athletic drill. For my part C, and obviously you can come up with your own but anything could really happen where something is running in the negative x direction and then it turns around and runs in the positive x direction at the same speed and then slows down until it stops at where it started from.